<sighs> this scene hits a lot harder now, doesn't it? <laughs> no. Oh. G'day everyone! Welcome back to more Dragon Quest XI S. Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition. Last time we had some major emotional damage. So hopefully this time they give us a slight break on that. Um, I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. <laughs> what else is this game gonna do to me? Is it gonna wreck me totally? I don't know. But without further ado, let's game with Billame! Here's what's happened so far. While searching for his friends, Belame is finally reunited with Serena. She leads the party to Arborea, where they learn that Veronica did not survive the fall of Yggdrasil. She sacrificed herself in order to protect her companions from the catastrophe wrought by Mordigan's rebirth. A solemn ceremony is held in her memory, and as the people of Arborea mourn, Benedictus tells the party of Cetacea, the holy creature who once soared through the clouds with Erdwin upon her back, and pledges to find some means by which she might be summoned. While awaiting the results of Benedictus' investigation, Belaim finds himself unable to sleep. Stepping outside, he sees Serena, who says a final goodbye to her beloved sister, and in doing so, inherits her powers. The next morning, our hero heads to the Arborean Highlands to meet with Benedictus and the others. The High Priest offers him a gift, the Calamus Flute, which once belonged to the legendary sage Serenica. With it, the party summon the Great Whale Cetacea and climb upon her back to seek out the floating isle Benedictus spoke of. Well, I'm excited about that. Um, trying to get over last time. It's probably going to take me quite a while, honestly. Um, let's, uh, let's take a look and make sure I'm equipped well. Oh, I think I'm going to put Jade in this uh, metal maniac outfit just because in honor of her mom, you know, Belle, her mom. <laughs> we might not keep it that way for long, but yeah, I think it'll be fun. So before we change Serena's outfit or equipment, I think we should check on her skill tree, her new skill tree, to see if we're going to use wands or, I guess, heavy staffs? Or, because it looks like she can carry that, so we're going to go check that out. A lot of people were also telling me that Eric is really good with the knives in the later half of the game, so I guess we'll try that out as well. We'll try giving him the, uh, the nobleman's knife. All right, it looks like we can get some stuff. Serena's got a ton of points that we can assign, so that's awesome. Let's see if we can afford Belle's next thing. I think I'll just go with the HP increase for now so that we can start working on this stuff down here. Because I'm, I'm guessing the luminary powers are pretty good to have for him. I'm also thinking that we might want to do some sword mastery stuff up here. Those seem pretty good as well. All right, dual wielding, that's what we really want. We gotta get this, so we need to <laughs> save up for that one. Oh my gosh, look at this. She's amazing. She might have more than the luminary. Oh my gosh, wow, this is, this is intense. Okay, let's take a look at all this then. Oh my gosh, she can have dual wielding as well? <gasps> okay, we gotta do this. Wow. Oh, they have to be the same type? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's still cool. It's still good to have, I think. I feel like um, maximizing MP is a very good thing, so we'll go with that as well. Ooh, Sage's Breath. That is cool. I want that. An ethereal wind that gradually restores the user's MP. That sounds really useful. Ooh, what's this? Enchanting Echo enables the user to occasionally cast the same spell twice at no extra cost. Oh, it's very expensive. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good, though. Oh, we'll have to think about that one because it costs a lot. 65 points. <laughs> All right, I really want Sage's Breath, so I'm going to get that one first. So I guess we need to get this resistance, maybe? Unless I go around the long way. Yeah, I'm going to go the short way this time. Because eventually I want to get most of these things. Oh, this still can't be broken. Okay. Man, she is just amazing. <laughs> She's got so much going for her. <laughs> I 
Okay, I guess we'll do this because I'm curious what that last hidden spell is. Hopefully it's something good. Or I guess um, ability, this thing, the secret panel. Let's see what it is. Channel anger. Greatly increases the damage done by any offensive spells the user casts. That seems uh, pretty good, I guess. I guess we could try uh, working on her heavy wand as well. We do have a lot of points and I was thinking about it and this one having two spells at the same time. If we're healing, I mean, that's really useful. Never mind. I'm going to unlock this one since it's pretty cheap and we can get that other mystery panel revealed. All right, let's see what this is. Grace of the Goddess, a beautiful... Beautific blessing that brings the user back to life if they bite the dust. Oh, <gasps> yes. And this is for wands. Okay, we got to stick with wands then because, whoa, that, sound, that seems really good though. Uh, so we'll, I guess actually, oh, that's 65 points. So I guess you have to s do this spell first on the person. So this isn't like bringing them back to life, I think. I think this is just something we can cast on people so that if they die, they come back, which seems really useful. So, um... I'm going to go with that. <laughs> That's going to be my my big one. That, that seems nice, especially for me. Now we can't afford this one unless we save up. <laughs> I feel like the next thing we should do is get the other increased resistance. I think that probably is a good idea. Defense is really good for the healer, so I think we'll go with that. Since we just got this wand-based skill, I think we'll stick with the wand skills for now and then... Um, see how that goes and if we want to change it to the heavy wand we could do that we could also keep Rab as heavy wand and Serena as regular wand or what's it called heavy yeah heavy wand unless he's staff I'm not sure I'll have to look into that all right I'm gonna I think we'll save up for this one because that seems pretty good all right okay I think that's good for now Let's make sure that Serena is equipped well. Let's see what this uh, dual wielding is like. <laughs> if this is, if this doesn't work so well, we'll try having the um, the the shield instead. But it looks cool. The uh, uniform wasn't expecting to have that, but it seemed to be our best item for now. We might need to go shopping soon, but. We'll have two uniformed girls on the team. Oh my gosh! All right, well let's go with this for now. Okay, so we have a new button here, the Calamus Flute. Oh my goodness, we can do this from anywhere it looks like, so let's give it a try. Play the Calamus Flute and summon Cetacea from Luminary's Landing. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how this looks. Oh, he's actually... Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. That's neat. Oh, whoa. Wasn't expecting that. That is cool. And this music. I forgot how good this music was. Yay. Okay, now my guess is we're going to that flying sky island thing. Look at how beautiful everything is. There's so much we can look at. Oh, I'm going to want to explore. I'm definitely going to want to fly over and be like, oh, yes, I remember this. I remember that. I wonder how low we can get. Okay, there is a limit, it looks like. Look at everywhere we've been. This is so cool. Wait, maybe this isn't the spot. I don't know, let's take a look. If we get too close, does it... Battleground? Uh, hold on. I don't know if we want to do that. Was there another flying island area? Maybe that one? Battleground doesn't sound good, so... <laughs> uh, let's try this one. Oh, look, here we go fast. This is so cool. I love this so much. This is amazing. All right, let's try this one out instead. What's this place? Land here? It doesn't even have a name. Okay, let's go. Because um, Benedictus said it was beautiful when he had that vision, so I doubt that's the battleground. Hopefully this is the right place. <laughs> if not, we can always back out, I guess. Island in the sky, just as Father Benedictus said. I wonder if he was right about there being something helpful here too. 
There's, oh, okay, that means we're in the right spot because she mentioned <laughs> Father Benedictus. Is that a temple of some sort? Well, there must be some reason we were brought here. Shall we go and find out what it is? Yeah, let's check it out. Question mark. Wow, we don't even know where we are still. Okay, I'm actually going to go in and see if I can change Serena's outfit. I don't really want both of the girls to have the, uh, the, um, the, the academy outfit on. I want to, I like to have it nice and varied. So I guess we'll go with the hip shaker. She can go back to her belly dancing days. I feel like it fits. I mean, she's, you know, she's been very spunky <laughs> before. Are they going to appear behind me? Nope. This is just, just Belle. Oh, Oh, uh, no, we don't want to do that. So that's what those mean. Okay, so if we stand on those, we can just automatically play the flute. That's good to know. But nope, we are here to stay, for now at least, to figure out what's going on and what we can do. This kind of reminds me of when we were in um, the Tockle areas. There's this one, like, I, I don't even remember exactly because it was so long ago, but there was like a round area that we could go and there's a big tree in the middle. Kind of gives me that vibe. Look at everything. I want to walk around and see what we can see. I wonder what we're going to find here. Oh, <gasps> Tuckle! Hey, bud! Tut, tut, talk. Who is this disturbing my precious few seconds of sleep? Oh, wait a minute. You're the luminary, are you not? I was, um, just taking a nap after spending tons of time searching for a password. Speaking of which, allow me to share the one I found with you. Okay, there we go. We got the next password. Well, now we can go visit the Pillar of Pegasus via the Altar of Revere. Oh, Reverie. <gasps> That sounds really cool. Yay! Clocking off. Okay, thank you. See, that's why it was good for us to explore. Just want to walk around, see if there's any, I don't know, shinies or anything like that. The taco might have been the only thing, though. Oh, wait, there's a shiny. I see you. Thank you for being bright. A colorful cocoon. That seems useful. All right. Now, let's head up the stairs and see what we can find. It is pretty here. Kind of looks like a smile. <laughs> we can see you, you know. Come out from behind there. Oh, who's that going to be? Oh! <gasps> what is it? This reminds me of uh, when Dra Derek was playing Dragon Quest... Eight, I think there was a character like this that's very Dragon Ball reminiscent to me. <laughs> ah, is you? Is you? The Watchers. The Watchers. And what are they? <laughs> of course, ground dwellers, not snow, not snow of us. We watch over Erdria. Watch for as long as Erdria exists. Well, what huh. do you know? And what are you doing skulking behind a pillar, Mr. Watcher? Oh, Eric's being so nice. I like this. This is home. Home of all of us. Once were many islands. Many watchers. But the attack came. Lord of Shadows. All crashed. Only this island remains. <gasps> Only me. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That's awful. Oh wow, that's pretty bad. Mortigan got to you guys too, huh? Sounds like you've been through a lot. Sorry if I was out of line just now. Oh, Eric. How come you survived anyway? And why did this place get left alone? Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Good questions. Guiding light burns within. Has burned since time began. Was in Temple of Dawn. Here. Was cleaning. Attack came. Was protected by guiding light. Ooh. This guiding light of yours sounds pretty special. Oh, we're here looking for a special something to help us defeat the Lord of Shadows. Do you think the guiding light might be it? Hmm. Not no. Is not weapon. Cannot defeat. Perhaps. Wish to help, but am only child. Oh no. no. Oh no. Guess we'll just have to take a look for ourselves then, huh? Poor thing. Yes. But 
what are we going to do about our poor little friend here? Yeah. Not to worry. I'm fine. I'm Watcher. Story of Watcher's not over. Aww, he's so positive. He defeats Lord of Shadows. Then World Tree returns. Oh. Restored. Life and rebirth. Oh, cool. There you go. We're going to succeed. Great. Dead ones get new life. <gasps> my brothers, my sisters, all begins again. Ooh, do all dead ones get new life? Is Veronica coming back? Please, Luminary, succeed. Aw, that's Wait. motivation. You know who he is? I feel like everyone knows who he is. <laughs> Aw, that smile. Aw. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Been here, been here since beginning. My people, watchers, watching, protecting flame. Seek flame and temple. Learn more. Learn of power to banish darkness, perhaps. All right, let's go check out this flame. See what that's all about. Whoa. Oh, cool. Is this like a master sword situation? Oh my goodness. This is exciting. I'm going to look at these things real quick just to see if we can do anything with them. Oh. <gasps> Looks kind of like a luminary, like a, the little tree thing. Mysterious em energy emanates from a seedling. It feels similar to the energy given out off by Yggdrasil's roots, but nothing happens when you touch it. <gasps> I wonder if we get to choose, like which one to replant. What if that's the case? Or what if there's like been three rebirths or something? Oh, this is cool. I'm very curious how that's gonna turn out. Let's see what happens. This is exciting. This gives me hope. Oh, it's beautiful. And so holy. I feel purer just looking at it. That's a good sign. I bet the luminary light, yep, it lights up. They're connected. Wait, the mark. This is so exciting. What's gonna happen? The mystery is so fun. Blinded by the light. Oh, okay. Whoa, did all that light just get squished down into that little thing? Looks so, and maybe we can carry it with us. Ooh, the guiding light. That seems really useful. Awesome. Oh, the, the tree things, the little saplings. Ooh, do we get to have three now? Oh gosh, it's so exciting. something very special in them. I know this feeling. Yggdrasil. Oh, that's awesome. Little Yggdrasil seedlings. I think you should take a closer look, don't you? I have a feeling they have something rather important to show us. Yes, me too. Let's take a look. Hopefully we don't have to just pick one. Like, hopefully we can look at them all first before choosing one. Let's see what happens. Okay. It could be just memories too. Oh, okay, what's this? Is that the battlefield area? Oh, this might be the originals. Look at them. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so that's the luminary from before. Something about that rock thing. Maybe this is like, um, this will teach us things about what we need to do later on. It kind of looked like the you battlefield area. Too, right? Oh, we saw it, Silvando. Yes. That man, the mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... <gasps> uh, aye, I do. And I have a feeling you've the same instinct, laddie, eh? That was Erdwin, the luminary of legend. Erdwin! I never thought I'd see him with my own eyes. How cool is that, Rab? So those were the original heroes? The ones who defeated the Dark One way back when? Looks like it. The more we know about them, the more chance we have of finding out how they beat him, right? Ah, you're not wrong. Let's see what those other seedlings have to show us, shall we? Great idea. I'm very, very excited about this. OK, 
Okay, let's see what the next one shows. Maybe it's like past, present, future or something? I don't know, let's take a look. Okay, that looks like Galopolis. When it was getting built, maybe? Okay, there's Hoto. Okay, was that... Is there more? Okay, that was a shorter one. Did you see the size of that hammer? Was it just me, or did it seem special somehow? Oh, wow. I didn't even pick up on the hammer. I just assumed it was one of those crazy RPG weapons. <laughs> it was no weapon, that much is certain. A forging hammer, if I'm not mistaken. <gasps> but what were they forging? Forging. Okay. All right, here's my thought real quick. They got the rock thing, then they got the hammer. They're making something. Maybe this is making the Master Sword type of situation. I wonder. Well, I think we all know where they were at least, don't we? Yep. Let's see if the last seedling makes things any clearer. I wonder if these show themselves in the same order no matter which one you pick. Or if, like, if we went to this one, if we'd see this exact thing. I'm not sure. We'll have to... S We'll have to see what the last one is, just because I'm so curious. What is it going to be? Okay. Uh, is that the Luminary Landing? Alright, they're definitely forging something there. Uh, maybe that sword thing that he was holding? Uh, trying to see what I can find out. Okay, there's a... Is that Hoto? I don't know. Look kind of different, though. Hopefully they'll kind of fill us in. View, I'm sure of it. So, if I understand what we saw correctly, they found some ore and a hammer, then went up a mountain and forged a sword. <gasps> Wait, of course. The Sword of Light. The Sword of Light. Okay, we have our next mission. Indeed. They would not have gone into battle with the Dark One unarmed. Yes, that's the power we need. That's how we'll drive the darkness from the world. Yes, with the but Sword of Light. Took it, right? Unless... Are these visions trying to say we need to... We need to actually make it. We need yeah, to forge it. That must be it. We need to make our own Sword of Light, just like the old heroes did. Yes. All right, we've got ourselves a plan. Not much of a plan, but we'll just have to fill in the gaps as we go. Yeah, Let's we can do this. By paying a visit to the places we saw in those visions. Oops, I skipped something. It looked like they found that ore and another one of these floating islands. I reckon we'll need to have a word with our wee pal about that. And that was Galopolis in the vision where they had the hammer, right? Maybe the Sultan knows something. All right, so we got an island to go visit, and then Galopolis, and then I guess maybe the Luminary Landing for the forging area, or a new location on a mountain. <gasps> oh, and I remember now. That mountain, it's the volcano near Hotto, isn't it? How could I forget? Oh, okay. All right, so my guess of Hotto was actually right. Okay. Uh, sounds like we're going on a wee world tour then. Hotto, Galopolis, and... Uh... Whatever that other island happens to be. Oh, Hado, that was where the, the item for forging was. Okay, yeah, we knew that part. The The last island is where we got to figure out, I guess, the battle area? It seems we're setting off on another adventure, Veronica. Oh. You'll be with us in spirit. I know it. Yes, Veronica, you'll always be with us. All right, let's go to work. <clears throat> let's do this, everyone. I kind of feel like that's a hands-in moment where we all go, like, Yes! <laughs> Team power! Alright, let's go talk to our buddy, the Watcher. See what uh, Watcher's got to say about this. <gasps> there he is! You find Luminary? Then you seek? Bellame explains everything he and his companions saw. Ooh, this could be very useful. Thank Golden you. Light help ancient heroes. Help in forging of sword. Sword to beat darkness. 
Oh, yeah, we could imbue this light into the light of the, the Sword of Light. Okay, so we actually were just there. That's so funny. Battleground? Why would anyone go looking for ore on a battleground? Mine was there. Mine are great ores. Great powers fought for ores. Ah. Great battle occurred. Great losses. Great pain. Victors took all. No ore. No more. Perhaps. Maybe there's tales a little bit. Of centuries ago. Ah. Perhaps tale false. Perhaps all remain. Perhaps. Okay, so we got well, it can't that. Well, to go and have a look now, can it? Right. Come on, you lot. Yep, let's go take a look. And that's not too far because we were literally just there. <laughs> we can do this. Oh, awesome. We have a little hint system. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Watcher. Billy remembers some places that he's visited. He can now use Zoom to travel to Hoto and Kalopolis. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if I should have visited them before now. It didn't really prompt us to. Um, but I know Derek said he, got, he went there before um, the point where I am. So I guess you could have. <laughs> I just, I remember trying to explore at one point when we were trying to get to Octagonia before Dundrasil and it wouldn't let me, so I just was like, okay, well, we can't go there. So, should we go to the island first, or should we go to the other areas, I wonder? I guess we'll go to Battleground first so we can get the ore. We'll, we'll follow in the footsteps of what we just saw, where they got the ore first, then they got the hammer, and then they forged at the other random place, so... We will do that. Let's play that flute and get flying. This is so pretty. I love that. That is so cool. I don't think that'll ever get boring to me. All right, time to fly and we already know where Battleground is and we can... Oh, that's so cute. Swoosh. Swoosh. <laughs> I'm making them do that or her do that a bunch. Uh, no, the we don't need to go to Laguna. We need to go to this battleground. Oh no, this seems scary. Oh, I wasn't ready for more uh, <laughs> devastation. What is this? The mysterious object looks almost like it's some kind of giant candlestick. Light it with the guiding light's flame? Uh, yeah, sure. Do we get to keep the... Okay, we get to keep the rest of the light. That's good. Guiding light! Guiding us along! Maybe it's gonna clear that weird fog stuff. I guess that would have stopped us if we got here earlier. Yeah, okay. So this was like a little bit of a blocker. Like, um, you need the light first before you can move on. All right, so let's take a look around. Make sure we're not going to miss any little things. Oh yeah, who's in our party right now? We probably want to change that up, honestly. Let's get uh, Serena in here because I want to check Serena out. And um, let's... I guess we'll leave it there for now because Silvano can help boost us up. Although I do want to check out what Eric is like. So maybe we'll put Eric in there. Alright, that's going to be our team for now. And we can always change it if we need to. Alright, let's see the team. There we go. There's the team. Alright. Because we got to figure out who we're going to be bringing in. Like who's going to be our main team. Ooh, Sparkle. Gotta get that. See a sparkle? Must collect. A Dracolite? Hmm. That seems like it could be useful for forging stuff. Alright, let's see what is down here. There's a little offshoot, it looks like. A 
okay, there's some enemies, but there's also more down. Whoa, okay, how, okay. Maybe we need to check out all these little offshoots then. Let's go do that. I guess we could fight that guy. We haven't saved in a while. I don't think he would be too difficult. There's nothing in here, I don't think. What about this? No, can't do anything there. I guess it's just to fight that guy? Well, let's fight him, I guess. Lethal armor. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, what do we got? Oops, I pressed the wrong thing. Oh well. Oh no, not back up. We're gonna go with the uh, unbridled blade on Cure Slime. Whoa, okay, that worked well. Oh cool, she's got Oomphal, so she can raise up um, Belle's attack too. And she's got buff and kabuff. Oh my gosh, she has everything. Reduce the attack. She has so much. She has so much. How could she not be in our group ever? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there's so much we can do with her. Okay, we're gonna start, I think, with um, reducing the attack. This is, this is nuts. All right, I guess we'll do some kabuff just to make sure. All right, time to do some abilities. All right, let's try this uh, persecute cutter, persecutor, cutter, the six time thing, whatever this is. Uh, that seemed all right, I guess. Whoa, what is this saint song? How do I get this? Why is it like blurred out? Wait, MP costs zero out of 251? What does that mean? Like it's free? Okay, I guess I'll do Umful on uh, Bell. That's probably a good idea. So he can hit really hard. Speaking of, time to do that. Unbridled blade. Oh, look at that! 620. Well. Alright, I think this is going to be a pretty good team. I guess Eric... Oh, what's this? For making 200 preemptive attacks on enemies. Oh, cool. We were in the aggravator. <laughs> that is definitely in part thanks to Derek helping me grind. So, thanks, Derek. <laughs> now to go further down and see what else we can find. Oh wait, there's somebody over there, but we can't reach that level. And there's a shiny. Maybe that wraps around. Oh yeah, it looks like it wraps around from here. Let's go check that out, because it might be a worthwhile shiny. It might be one of the things we can't buy. What are those? Those were kind of creepy. They looked like aliens or something. Maybe we'll fight one next time we see one. Uh, okay, what's this? Some kind of hole. I don't know what that is down there though. I'm a little bit worried. So let's go around. No, maybe we have to, maybe we have to go down there. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm a little bit concerned we don't wanna go in there yet. So we'll just come back in case we need to do that. I don't wanna like fall all the way down and miss a bunch of stuff. Makes me nervous. Yeah, they do look like aliens. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's kind of scary. I think we'll tackle those later, maybe. <laughs> uh, ooh, I see some ore. Is this the stuff? Oh no, that's just shiny mushrooms. Um, oh, here's a spot we can crawl in. Let's see what this takes us to. So exciting. What's the, oh, another hole. Huh. I guess we could... I don't know. Again, I'm just too nervous to fall into these holes. What are they for? I don't know, but maybe we'll find out. This would scare me in real life, to be honest. I would be kind of scared of getting trapped. Alright, what's in here? Looks like some kind of bigger area. Okay, then. Hello, everyone. There's a lot of you here. All right, no shinies. Let's just uh, run run out of here. Let's see if we can go around and get that treasure without disturbing the bones. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, man, I hate it when that happens. OK, 
Okay, we're just gonna have to fight him. Our triumph was never in doubt. Yay, level up for Eric. And yay, level up for Silvando. And we got a snake skin. <laughs> Alright, let's get that treasure and then heal up. Oh no, I'm poisoned. I thought that would go away. Oh, a mini metal. Cool. Alright, let's um go somewhere safe and do some healing. Oh. Okay. Now time to move on. Let's see what else we can find. Hopefully this isn't the way we came. Uh no, I don't think it is. Oh, it's shiny. Gotta make sure that the little indicator is actually on. Oh, we found a chunk of something. That was probably good to have. All right, let's see what else we can get to. All right, uh, back around to this area. So I think we just went further down. Yeah, because that's the spot we were looking at earlier. So let's continue on downward. I think those little offshoots just offer up some things. Okay, there's the bottom. We are getting close. Ooh, another shiny, okay. I think it's also a good spot for grinding, perhaps, since there's so many enemies. And of course, the treasures, which we wanna try and get. Uh-oh, they're after us. Ooh, recipe book, Encyclopedia of Expert Equipment. Okay, there's the, uh, there's the other dude running after us. We can make ogre shields. Oh no, or is there gonna be an ogre in here? Brigands mitts and Titan belts. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, gotta go. Wow, that was pretty good dodging. Wee! All right, let's see what's in this little cave. More enemies, of course. Any treasures? We got two spots we can go. I guess we'll go to this side first. Some more enemies. And a sparkle, which we will try to get. Yeah, I figured we'd grab that guy's attention. Let's see if we can get out of here quickly enough. Mithril ore, that's probably good to have. Okay, got, got that one. Now let's go across. And see what's on this side. Okay, more enemies. Uh, and that's it, it looks like. Huh. Okay. Yep, definitely feels like um, a space to grind. So that probably means that there is some kind of bad guy coming up. Which I'd really like to save in that case. I hope that we can save. Definitely learned my lesson from last time and will not be going into any monster looking arenas before saving. <gasps> we can fly! Alright, so the dragons for flying. Maybe just so we can get out of here quickly. I'm not sure. We might need to pick that up. Okay, we got an ore down there. We'll go in here first. Take a look in here. Okay, I see that stuff on the wall. Let's go grab that. Let's see what we can get out of this. Uh, Brighton Rock, okay. That might be some good stuff um, that we can use for the new recipe we just got. Okay, another dragon that's very close to this. Uh-oh. It's actually a Pandora's box! Ah, I had a feeling that we'd run into one of these again. Wonderful. Yay! Bell leveled! Yay! Rab leveled! And we got... A seed of skill. That um, that tr Pandora's box is actually a lot tougher than I was expecting. All right, we need to go this way. All right, please let there be some kind of save point. Luckily, Bell leveled, so the MP came back. So that's awesome. But I really would like. Ooh. Um, a saving point. We might have to zoom at some point if we don't find one soon. Ok, 
Okay, we got some eyes. What's this thing? An inscription has been carved into the ancient stone. It looks as if it was left by the Watchers. <gasps> watchers float above world. Watch, protect. This island is home, here from beginning. Not just home to Watchers, home to ore. Special ore, ore to banish darkness. Oh, cool. That's nice we can read their language. Um, okay. Oh, I see something. Uh, let me look at the map real quick. <gasps> okay, campfire. Yes, that's a good sign. Okay, let's get over there. Yes, we can save. Hallelujah. And rest. This is wonderful. Actually, before I save, um, it's better to rest. <laughs> so let's do that. Okay, now is a great time to save, right after being all fresh from the rest. Alright. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be an enemy coming up soon. Oh, you know what I just thought of? Is this the place that Eric was sent to after everything? It, it's sort of like that. I don't know if it is exactly. Uh, I want to keep going, but I'm also kind of worried that there might be a boss coming up and we are running very close to time. So I think we will have to leave it here on kind of a um, cliffhanger. <laughs> there, I jumped the cliff here. So thank you all so much for joining me. Love this game, love having you here with me. It's quite a journey and I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm so curious. Thank you all so very much and I will see you next time. Until then, take care everyone. Thank you, bye-bye.